Welcome to the session for the RPA zone, introduction to the robotic process automation. Okay, we are already know about that robotic process automation. Let's we can have some elaboration of that. What is robotic process automation? Okay, what is the agenda for the today's session is that what is RPA? why the robotic automation we can use the key benefits of the rpa and life cycle of the rpa stages in the rpa journey and rpa tools what are the different rpa tools that are available okay this is the today's agenda what is rpa robotic automation is in a software or technology that makes it easy to build and deploy the managed software robots that can emulate the human actions interacting with the digital systems and softwares. Just like people, software robots can do this, like understanding what on the screen, complete uh, right key, keystrokes, navigations, and extracting the data. It's like a, what is a robotic automation? It's a software robots. Okay, what we can do with that uh, RPA, we can automate the human works, whatever repetitive task will be there. Whatever repetitive task will be there, we can automate those talks, tasks. Okay. Why we can why we can use the RPA? Why we can use the RPA means here it will increase the efficiency of the works, what will happen in every company, either in any businesses. If a person is doing the manual work daily, they are spending the four to five or six hours. If they, are, if they will do the manual tasks without they have the uh, logics, just they need to do the copy paste works. Either some logics, either normal logics they are doing, either Excel copy paste works, either website uh, data updating in the uh, websites. All these they are spending the time to six, uh, six to seven hours. If you use the automate those type of task, okay, it will increase the efficiency of their work. If a human is doing the six hours a day spending to do that work, a robot can do it within 30 minutes. A software robot can do it within 30 minutes. Here the benefit is that they will save a lot of money first of first benefit. Okay, because if they are playing the employee for daily monthly 20,000 or 40,000, it will save a lot of money to them. Okay, RPA, it will be may cost one time cost for less than and the maintenance cost. Okay. And we can deploy it very fast. And we have the more security also in the RPA. And whatever they are doing the automation, that employees, they can concentrate on their where the human interaction is needed. They don't need to work on normal copy paste works. They can work on the where the humans interaction, those employees. They can work on the where the human interaction is needed. Due to that, they can increase their productivity in a day. Companies will be more benefited for that. Okay, that is why we need to use the RPA. Okay. And benefits of RPA. They can easily create the, the low technical barriers. Barriers Means uh, no need to go for that uh, coding and all these things. Without basic knowledge also, we can go for it. And increase the accuracy. It will maintain the regular complaints. No interruption of work. Automation will running the background. 
and automatically they can use it and they can do their work automatically and increase the productivity okay this is what benefits of the rpa okay low technical barriers it will increase the accuracy and it will maintain the complaints regular complaints no interruption to work because it will run the background and they can do their work employees at the time of running the bot they can do their work and it will increase the productivity what rpa can do and what rpa cannot okay rpa is a computer coded software it is not like that a walking robot or talking autobots talking bot we can see that physical robots is there na the, in the uh, we can see some physical robots they can talk and walk it's not a rpa rpa is a computer coded software means it's a software robot only it will run on the program plays humans perform a repetitive rule based tasks okay cross functional and cross application macros what robot what rpa can do we can open the email attachments it will log into the web applications it's moving the files from one folder to another folder it will copy and paste the files it will fill the forms it will read the data and write the data it will scrap the data from the website we can use the apis it will do the calculations and extracting the structured data from the documents either nowadays we by using the some advanced ai technologies we can scrap the unstructured data also we can use the conditions okay these are all the benefits of the rpa okay if you go for that what are the different tools that are available what are the different tools that are available in the rpa field we have that ui path automation anywhere blue prism power automate robocarp so many rpa tools are there these are some of the po popular rpa tools okay ui path automation anywhere blue prism power automate robocarp okay here why is the ui path okay if you see the trend also okay if you see the trend also i will open the trends here i am opening the google trends adding the search term for ui path can see 
the popularity of the tool. If you go for comparison with automation anywhere, this is the automation anywhere. See the comparison, this is the lower grade automation anywhere and it is the most such as we are happening from the UI path only. Okay. And if you go for power automate, okay, this is related to the power automate. This is the trending, the most trending one and most useful uh, used one is that UI path. Other than this trending, why we want to go for the UI path? It is very user friendly, user experience is very, very neat and clean. You don't have to be confused anyway. The user interference and uh, uh, way of doing the work in the application, in the software, in the UI path, it's very simple as compared to the other softwares. And maintaining the robots from starting to ending, it will become very, very simple. Okay. And one more thing that why we can't go for UI path also. Once after creating the robot, we want to do some optimizations and we want to go for the next level of that automation. It will become very easy to go for the next level of, next level of automation. If you run the basic web flow automation, by using the same automation, if you want to go for the next time, artificial intelligent, it will become any, very easy. You don't need to create the again from the web application. Okay, this is why we going for the UI path. Okay. And if you see that, how the careers in the RP, what are the jobs for UI path? You can uh, see that how many jobs are available, what is the things are there. If you go for LinkedIn, I'm opening the LinkedIn. Here you can go for the jobs. and search for UI path. Eleven hundred and results for the jobs. You can directly here click on jobs, search term, UI path. Okay, if you want to go for last week, 568 jobs are the latest. These are all the latest jobs. If you go for now curry, search for UI path. Five thousand jobs are there. Five thousand nine forty-seven. These are all UI path jobs. Okay, this much capability is there for the UI path. This much demand is there. Okay, that is about the UI path, and we are already seen that what's possible and what not possible also and what we can do with the UI path, either what we can do automate. And if you go for the life cycle, life cycle of a RPA development. Okay, first we can go for the candidate identification.
okay here what we can do find that who is possible for the automation you need to find that a customer na okay we need to understand their business and what the happening in their business then what's possible to automate in that if a client to come to us and they can do that okay this is my process this is what i am doing right now manually uh, i am opening the for example i am logging into the one website and updating the data there if a client is saying that daily we are doing it this type of this type uh, this task daily one to two hours either four hours now what we need to do you need to identify that it is possible or not through the rpa whatever automation whatever business requirement we got after getting the requirement we need to check feasibility this we call feasibility okay what is possible okay what is not possible this you have to check then after that you need to get to know about how many days it will take to complete how many days it will take to complete complete the project okay then what we are going to do what is the type of project means it is a simple medium or complex what type of project it is what type of project it is simple medium and complex okay here for simple projects it will take uh, one week to one month one month for medium one month to at least two to three months above three months okay we need to do this analysis before going to the project okay simple medium or complex once after all this completion all these things we can go to create the pdd documentation once after checking the feasibility what is possible and what is not possible uh, what are the applications involved this is all under the feasibility checking what are the applications involved and how much time it will take it is a simple or medium complex project after that we are going to create the pdd starting the development in the development only we can do the internal testing testing then uat user accepted user accepted testing then deployment then deployment after the deployment we can go for the hyper care then maintenance monitoring maintenance and monitoring these are the stages okay 
deployment first we can find the identification what is possible and not a, or what is not possible then development directly we can go for the development internal testing uat deployment and hypercare if you don't know about hypercare hypercare is that after the deployment we are going to give them the support for the seven days up to maximum three to seven days in that hypercare while we are doing the they will run the bot in the live if any issues will be there we can update those package after hypercare ends we are going to do the maintenance and monitoring if in between any issues are there while they are running in the live okay how much accuracy is giving the bot and how it is working and how it is performing all these things we can going to monitor that's a maintenance monitoring uh, which we can call it as a support also okay these are the stages okay rpa development testing procedure de deployment and monitoring and management okay it's like a rpa journey same as we can explain uh, learn that complete overview of rpa what is possible and what is not possible process identification what we can do the automation how we can do that what what we can automate that we can call it as a process identification start the process and describe the goals why we are doing the automation okay all these things we are we already discussed about the tools now rpa tools blue prism ui path robocop pega all these are the rpa tools you understand it now till right now either do you have any doubts you want to ask no sir okay okay this is all about the rp and we can go for the one simple data scrapping using the ui path okay we can start with the how the user interference of the ui path how it will work okay first you can if you already install that if you did not install the ui path what we can do you can go for the ui path Okay, you can use it for the try it for free. Either we have the community options also. You can download the UI path community application. You can use the try it for UI path for free. You can fill out the form and form will come up. Okay, I already filled it. If you need any support in the installing the UI path application, you can send us the message. Okay, once after installation of UI path, we are opening the UI path. Open the UI path studio. Here we have the three applications uh, in the UI path UI path studio, UI path studio pro, UI path studio X. Okay, we are, we are going to use the UI path studio. Okay. Okay, this is the interference of the UI path studio. Okay, you can see that in the left side menu options will be there. Here, if you already have the, any project, you can open the project directly. Okay, if you have any local project, all this you can do. And if you have any recent project you did, here it will come the recent projects. Okay. Once after that, if you want to start the new process, here are the templates, robotic enterprise framework template. RE framework. This is a RE framework template. And if you want to start with the new process, here in the new project will be there. There, here we want to click the process. Okay, after clicking on the process, it will ask for the name. 
what is the project name rpa zone day 1 okay and it will ask about the description we can here we can give that what is the project is about data scrapping we can use the in default uh, two languages the way vb scripting and shisha we are going to use the only vb and click on create Just wait for a few minutes. Okay. This is the main workflow. If you click on open main. Here we are going to develop it. Middle one. Here we can, and in the left side, this is the project panel. We are going to, this is your project name, and what are the dependencies? Means some of the packages will be there for the UI path. What are the packages by default? Uh, please unmute yourself. What are the packages here? By default, what packages it is installing? UI path, Excel activities, mail activities, system activities, testing activities, and UI automation. They will ask the interview question also. What are the by default packages UI path will be installed? These are the by default packages UI path going to install. Excel. Mail activities, system activities, testing, and UI automation activities. Okay. And this is the project package. These are the dependencies. And here, whatever you created the projects, XAML files, those are XAML files will be there. And this is a JSON project JSON file. This is about the project file. This is our project panel. Okay. And these are the activities panel. Here in the activities panel, what we are going to available, whatever the packages installed, here the some further packages activities will be there. Those activities are available here. Okay, this is the activities panel. And on the left side, if you click on any activity, I'm going to read range you can like search like this read range okay if you click on this if you go over here here we have the object repository properties we will tell you about object repository in coming classes if you click on properties these are the properties of this particular activity any activity you can drop here the properties will come okay read range and what is the what file to read and what is the sheet name you can add the address or not and what is the output okay all this and if you click on your design this is the design panel okay in the design panel what we can do if you want to create a new sequence click on new and create a new sequence data scrapping Like this, you can create a new sequence. Okay. If you want to click on, here we have the click save file. If you want to run this, 
we are going to click on debug file. This is the debugging. Here we have the options run file, debug, run. Run file means it will run the current file. What are the data scrapping is there? It will run the data scrapping file. If you click on run whole project, it will run. Okay, if you can go to the click on debug, right? I'm showing the one message box here. We are going to give that it in a double quotes. Welcome. Okay, I'm clicking on save button and I'm going to click on debug. This is how we can run the file, debug the file. Okay, this is the output. Okay, once after completion of this, we have the debugging panel. Here we have so many if you have already if you develop the project if you want to see that what is the things we are running and step by step manner and breakpoints all this this year we are the other debugging properties these are all debugging activities okay what we uh, here uh, these are the debugging properties we can use in the upcoming classes how we can use it and where we can use it where we can use the step into and step in step out and step over okay we can use the all these in upcoming classes here also you can see the data manager this is the new version of that recently they had it data manager here we can see that all the variables arguments whatever the arguments will be there and what are the processes and what are the assets all these are available okay this is all assets whatever you have assets created in the, your orchestrator those are available here okay this is about the ui path studio Okay, from tomorrow onwards, we can see that uh, small, small things. My voice is audible now, everyone. Can you comment in the chat? Yes, yes. Audible. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. Tomorrow onwards, we can see that uh, data scrapping and all these things. The people who you have already paid for the amount that we are going to share the link and the people who are not paid, we are going to give the three days free, free demo classes for them. They can easily get into understand that what we are going to explain and all these things. Okay, if you still did not pay it or you did not uh, inquiry about the course, you can message me directly in the group. Okay, either personally, we will help you on that. Any doubts in that?